Hello guys, Rob here. In my last video from yesterday, I asked for comments on EOS actions that users cannot do with the free CPU from Blocks or EOS Authority. And one of the responses was staking DAP token. So in this video, we're going to go over staking DAP token using the free CPU on Blocks, but this can also be applied to many EOS actions that you want to perform. You might find one that you won't be able to do on blocks, but most you can do. So let's get into how you do it using DAP token staking as the example. First thing I want to do is go to the DAP of the action I want to perform. So I am on dsphq.io because I want to stake DAP token in this example. And what I'm going to do is go to the normal package section, select the package I want to stake to, and fill in the action I want to perform just like normal. I want to stake my available DAP tokens into this DSP package. Then click submit stake just as you would. Now here's where things are different. Instead of allowing the scatter transaction, which would fail if you don't have enough CPU, what I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this or copy this down. This gives a roadmap to what we need to do on blocks. So this should work for many of the actions you're trying to do. I'm going to take a screenshot or write this down. And again, this is the roadmap as to what we need to do on blocks. So I already have a screenshot of this here. Just show you DAP services stake, DAP services stake from provider quantity stake service or service. All the same as what's in scatter. I already took that screenshot. So next we want to head over to blocks. All right. So here I am on blocks.io with the screenshot of what I want to do. And let me make sure my free CPU is turned on. Free CPU is turned on. First thing is we start at the top of the scatter transaction. I want to go to the DAP services account. Type in the account you want to go to. Pull it up. There, okay. DAP services, DAP services, that is where I want to go. Next on blocks, come to the contract button here. Click on contract and go to actions. Actions button here. Then what action are we looking for? We're looking for the next one in the line here. DAP DAP services stake. I want the stake action. So find the stake action. Click on that. And then you'll see here once you scroll down the enter data section is all the same fields from scatter. So we have the from, the from. Provider, provider. Service, service. Quantity, quantity. So go ahead and fill this out with the information you have from your scatter transaction. So I have them all filled out except for the quantity. And the quantity you want to fill out exactly like you see it. For me, 17.3304 space. You also want to include the symbol name. So capital D-A-P-P. -P. So now everything I have here is exactly what was here on the DAP services contract using the stake action. DAP services, stake action, all fields the same, all fields the same. Submit transaction, scatter will pop up and you'll see it's the exact same thing here that was here except this time you also have blocks paying for your CPU. So blocks paying for CPU plus the action here, DAP services stake, DAP services stake from provider quantity service, from provider quantity service, all the exact same values. Click allow. Success. Your action was successfully pushed. Check the transaction. So there's the successful transaction. Blocks paying for the CPU, and then the transaction we wanted to send that we could not send because we didn't have enough CPU without using block CPU. So there you go, guys. That's how you send more advanced transactions using Blocks.io and their free CPU feature. Just go to wherever you would normally to send the transaction you wanted to send. 
pretend like you are going to send it. Copy down the data you get in Scatter and deny that Scatter transaction after you copy it down. And then take that information and use it as a roadmap. It tells you exactly where you need to go on blocks to perform that action and use the blocks free CPU feature. And like I said, this might not work for every action you are trying to do, but for static actions, and what I mean by that is if I come here and submit stake again, getting the exact same values as I was before, if I deny that and try it again and I'm getting the exact same values again, there's no changes in here, nothing nothing based on a certain order number or a certain certain time or something like that. Actions like this should always work. So that's it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, drop a like. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Are you on the Telos blockchain yet? Telos is an EOSIO blockchain currently running at 0% inflation and paying out 18% REX returns thanks to the Telos economic development plan. Visit the link in the description to this page to get your free Telos account using desktop, mobile, or the Telegram bot. And once you have some TLOS tokens, learn how to stake them to Rex using Squirrel Wallet and Scatter to take advantage of those hefty 18% current returns. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. That's it for me, guys. I will see you in the next one.